Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. No, this is not another piece to our Roma say that we've had such a fun journey on so far. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick introduction to the video you're about to see. This is a video that I posted on the FM Blog YouTube channel, which is another channel, if you don't know me, that I have helped out with with a couple of other guys for the past couple of years. Um, I haven't really been posting much lately, but I'm gonna get started getting into that again basically doing player profiles. I'm gonna start from year one, and then we're gonna go work our way to year five, then year 10, and see how their career progresses. Um, but I figured I don't have a lot of FM content on this channel. And I tried to do a weekly Roma save, but it's so slow, I want more FM content if I can. And since I'm already posting something to the other channel, I figured I'd rework it a little, throw it up on this channel, we get more FM content, and get a little more stuff on this channel. Uh, so that's my plan, is to get a Roma save out a week, a player profile out a week, and if I still have time and the ability, I figured I would also do a non-FM style video a week. I know those aren't popular on this channel. Um, if you don't like any of those ideas, if you don't want me to post uh, non-FM stuff on here, I have another channel I can post it on, just and just let me know. Uh, if you don't like the idea of me re basically reusing the same content on the FM Blogs channel, on this channel, just to give it a little more FM content, let me know that as well. If enough people don't like it, I will definitely stop doing it, and we'll just say, leave it with the Roma save, and that's it. But quick intro done. I just wanted to let you know that's what you're about to see. This is something that we've seen, or that is on another channel, um, but it's something I made. I figured I want it on here as well, just so you all can see it and let me know. And if you have ideas of players you want me to, to profile in the future, definitely let me know. I've got a couple ideas already, but comments down below. Let me know what you want to see, who you want to see. If you want to see other things, competitions, um, teams, how they do and how they progress. Let me know. I'm happy to do whatever you guys want me to do. But with that, I'm going to stop and uh, thank you so much. I'm just going to get right into the video. Ladies and gents, I wanted to do a set of videos for the FM Blog channel looking at individual player profiles over the course of maybe about 10 years and some beyond. So starting on day one and going 10 years into the future, see where they start, see where they land up, and uh, see how the, it all works. If you've seen my channel, Cephian FM, you'll know that I've been working on a Roma save. And in the first transfer window, I brought in Tiago Almada to bolster my front set of attackers. So far in my save, I mean, I'm only in season two, but he's doing very well and has actually garnered himself one of the signings of the season, according to the Roma fans. And that was only after half a season. So I've enjoyed watching him grow and watching him play. So kind of wanted to start there with Tiago Almada. If you want any other players, teams, or competitions to be highlighted, just let us know in the comments down below and we'll get to them as, as, much, as fast as we can. We'll get through them. Uh, but as you can see, Tiago, it, as we start on day one of the, the save, Tiago Almada has some fairly good stats already right off the bat. Uh, 16s in penalty taking, technique and flair, not too bad. Uh, he may not be the paciest of attackers with a 14 acceleration, 12 pace, but he, I mean, he's only 20 years. I'm hoping he can grow. I know uh, in my save, he's not the paciest uh, and I haven't seen him grow all that much, but I mean, 20 years old, he's got plenty of room to grow in most of these stats. Currently listed between, as you can see, 2.9 and 8.6 million pounds at Velez in Argentinian League. Uh, I have seen him in other, a few other saves that I've done on my own, kind of hike off to Leicester, uh, kind of maybe a year or so in. So let's push on five years and see what happened to his career. So as you can see, 2026, five years in, and it looks like the same things happened here I've seen elsewhere. He moves off to Leicester at the start of the 22-23 season for 7.5 million pounds. Not too bad. Uh, look at those numbers, though, and how he's grown. Loads of green here. Still not great on crossing and finishing, though. Dribbling, composure, decisions, vision, agility all bounced up into the 16 to 17 zone. So for 7.5 million, he looks pretty fantastic right now at 25. Sadly, in my Roma save, I got him for 12.5 that first winter, uh, rising to 19. So I am not all that good at negotiating, apparently. But five years on, he's sitting pretty at Leicester. Um, what about in another five years? Well, the 20... 30, 31 season is finished, and as you can see, he hasn't grown all that much in the last five years. So the first five years of growth was really good. The last five years, not so much. Uh, a few numbers have gone up. Many have stayed the same, but the growth hasn't been what it was in that first five years. Uh, you see he's only worth the lower half of what he was worth five years ago. So not the greatest, sadly. But 316 appearances, uh, 67 goals for Leicester. That's, I still would say that's a pretty good career. 
Uh, it's been a pretty good move for him. And, and five, 155K per week, yeah, he's had himself a fairly good career so far. Probably could have been moved off somewhere else and done very well, but I, apparently a very loyal lad. I don't know what his loyalty numbers are, but um, seems to enjoy Lester, life in Lester. Side note though, his positioning still stinks. Nine. I would have thought after 10 years, something would have risen. I don't know how that works, uh, to be honest, in the back end. But positioning of nine after 10 years in a Premier League club, I don't know. Everything else is growing up, just not that. So now to finish off these, I was actually originally thinking of kind of showing you the back end database uh, and what the player looks like. And you can skip that if you wanted to. However, I've got the Game Pass version and the, the Windows version of the editor is beyond god awful. Um, it doesn't even work. You open it up, it immediately shuts down. So I'm not getting you that numbers. Uh, if you do want to see those numbers, I can get them other ways and I can just show them on screen. But let me know if you want to see those back end database numbers. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it there. Tiago Almada's 10 year career so far looks pretty good. Uh, definitely worth a look if you're looking for that kind of attacker um, as a backup even at 20 years old he could uh, to me he would fit into a lot of premier league clubs uh, especially lower league uh, lower side of the league probably look you know for me looking at um, position six or seven down in the table i would definitely take a look at him even as a backup see how he grows if you want to play him as a as a first choice i i loved him so far in my roma save very happy with him Anyway, this has been Safian FM for the Football Manager blog. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.